Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another awesome math video. Uh, so this one is on reducing square roots. So oftentimes you get something like um, 125, and your teacher might say to you that this guy is not simplified. So what that means is is that there is a perfect square inside of it. So what I mean by that, if you remember your perfect squares, you know, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. So one of these perfect squares, or maybe even a bigger one, they keep going, of course, um, divides into 125. So obviously the first choice that we might look for would be 25. So I know that 125 divided by 25 is equal to 5. So what that means is I can rewrite 125 as this as 25 times 5. So you might be saying, well, 25, this is an easy number. What would you do if you didn't know? You gotta you just got to try them and find out. That's the best way to do it. Start working through and try to use logic. Like if it ends in 2, I'm not going to try 9 and 25. I might try 4, 16, 36, that kind of stuff. If 4 works, then I definitely might try 16. If 16 works, I might try 36, that kind of stuff. So... Um, now that I have this broken up into, I also know that I can use one of my rules, which is I can break this guy up into two different roots. And the name of the rule kind of escapes me now for a second, but anyway. Um, you can just, Basically, you can uh, put a root sign over both and separate it with a multiplication sign. And what that allows us to do is we can take the square root of 25, which is 5, and root 5 is not a perfect square, so we'll leave that alone, so it becomes 5 root 5. So we took this 125 and reduced it down into 5 root 5. So we made what's underneath the radicand a smaller number. So let me just try um, another, que another question. Let's try root 96. And let's just write these up again. So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 49, 64, 81, 100. I forgot 36, didn't I? There we go. Um, so now, let's try um, going through some of our perfect squares. So we don't obviously have to choose one. So 96 divided by 4 is 24. So that one works. That would break it down. So 96 divided by 4 is 24. But then you have to ask yourself, is 4 the largest perfect square? So if 4 works, what I'll usually do is I'll just quickly try 16. So 96 divided by 16, that also works. So 96 divided by... 16 is equal to 4, or sorry, is equal to 6. So this, obviously, 16 is better to choose because it breaks up my radicand. What's going to be left underneath my radicand? Much better. So um, you could tell by this guy right here, this this number, what you get on the end here, is what's going to be underneath your radicand. So 24, obviously, there's a more, another perfect square because that's divisible by 4. So um, I'm going to break 96 up into my perfect square, 16 times 6. And that becomes square root of 16 times square root of 6, which is 4 root 6. And there we go, guys. I've taken another unsimplified square root and changed it to a simplified square root. So your teacher might call this a whole or an entire radical. Entire radical. And we change it to a mixed radical. So that's some terminology you might want to be aware of. So an entire radical to a mixed radical. So um, hope this helps. This is a really uh, straightforward topic, guys, but still really important to practice it and make sure you're good at it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.